Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Lead 2 Predictions. A few of the results didn't quite go to plan for some clubs. A few other good games, but anyway guys, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below, so guys feel free to have a look after watching this video. Um, but anyway guys, you know what you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Bradford vs Morecambe. Bradford beating Mansfield 2-0 at home, great three points for Bradford. Um, Morecambe losing 1-0 away to Cambridge. Um, Bradford are currently on 40 points now. Um, going forward, that would be a big uh, statement for Bradford. Um, three teams go up from this division. Um, I think it's only supposed to be three, but because of what's happened to Berry, we're going to make it four. I think that's how we're working it. Um, or if you do know, please first put it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, we're going up against a Morecub team who have only won in the last five. So, you know, we're going up against maybe a bit like an odd conf not a confidence team, so I'm going to go for a 2 0 Bradford win. My next one is Cambridge versus Mansfield. Mansfield losing 2 0 at away to Bre uh, Bradford. Cambridge beat Morecambe 1 0 at home. So Cambridge, um, let me just. Cambridge have only won two at the last five. Um, going up against a Mansfield team who are they've only they ain't, they ain't not won a game in their last five. So we're going up against a team that you know Cambridge should beat them, which is what I'm going to predict him to do, and I'm going to go for a two-one Cambridge win. My next one is Colchester versus Crawley. Um, Crawley one-one away to Grimsby Town. Um, Colchester 2-2 two -two at home to Exeter. So you look at that Colchester who are currently in SIP, um, you know, and doing ever so well. Um, Crawley uh, down in 15 and only won one game out of their last five. Um, but then you got to look at Colchester, they've won three out of their last five. So the odds are slightly stacked against Crawley this weekend. And I'm going to go with the odds, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Colchester win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Carlisle. Um, Carlisle loses, uh, sorry, Carlisle beating um, Walsall 2-1 at home. Um, Crew Alexander beating Scunthorpe 3-1 at home. So both teams going in with this team with this weekend with a win. Um, is it going to be, I mean, you've got Crew in third, you've got Carlisle all the way down in 19th. Is this going to be a game where the underdogs are going to slightly, um, you know, beat the odds and beat the, I'm not going to predict Carlisle to win this one, and I'm not going to predict Carlisle to win it 1-0. My next one is Forest Green versus Exeter. Um... Exeter 2-2 two -two away to uh, Colchester. Um, Forest Green 1-0 one, one winners at home to Macclesfield. Um, this, I think this game is going to be quite interesting. I think it's going to end up as a draw. And I'll go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Grinsby Town versus Salford City. Um, Grinsby 1-1 one, one at home to Crawley. Um, Salford doing a great job at Oldham and beating Oldham Athletic 4-1 um, away from home. So, you, I'm really am interested to see where Salford finish the season, if I'm all honest with you. Um, obviously, I've said in previous videos, but I'm, we all know who I'm, Salford City, but they just don't go out and play the football. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see where they end up come May. Um, going over to the Grinsby, you know, will Grinsby be in the co conference premier come May? Um, 
this table will start to spread out um, bit by bit. This game's going to be an interesting one, but I'm going to go for a 2 1 Sulphur City win. My next one is Newport versus Chatham Town. Newport 1 1 at home against St. Norian. Um, Cheltenham 1-1 one, one away to Northampton Town so pretty much what I predicted for that Cheltenham Northampton Town game I couldn't remember what result I went with but if you look at the league table that result was sort of expected if you know what I mean um, Newport um, 13th, Cheltenham in 8th um, I'm going to go for a 2-0 Cheltenham win my next one is Northampton Town versus Stevenage. Um, Northampton Town 1-1 one, one at home against Cheltenham Town. Um, Stevenage losing 2-1 away to Plymouth Argyle. Um, Stevenage where they are. Um, Northampton Town where they are. I've got a bit Northampton Town to win, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Northampton Town win. M my next one is Oldham Athletic versus Scunthorpe. Um, Oldham losing 4-1 at home to Salford City. Scunthorpe losing 3-1 uh, away from home to Crew Alexander. Um, look at both teams. Oldham are in 18th, Scunthorpe in 14th. I'm just going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. Um, my next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Swindon Town. I've got to apologise to Swindon Town. Um, when I've done my last predictions, I called you uh, Swansea Town. I didn't mean to. I didn't know till you guys let me know about it, actually. So I do apologise to Swindon Town fans. Please forgive me. Um, but go, go forward to this game. Plymouth beating Stevenage 2-1 at home. Swindon Town loses 2-0 two, two away from home to Port Vale. Go over to the league table. Um, Plymouth are in 7th. Swindon Town are top of the league. So, um, because of the way the results went, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Swindon Town win. Yeah, you got it right. <laughs> uh, my next one is Port Vale versus Macclesfield. Um, Port Vale beating Swindon 2-0 at home. Great three points for Port Vale. Um, Macclesfield losing 1-0 away from home to Forest Green Rovers. We all know that the trouble Macclesfield are in. Hopefully this game goes ahead. Um, it's literally not long at all. So hopefully. Um, but going forward, Port Vale in 10th. Macclesfield 22nd. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Port Vale win. My last one for this, well, it's not even weekend, is it, because it's New Year's Day, but my new one for the, my last one for New Year's Day is Walsall versus St. Norian. Um, Walsall loses 2-1 at home to Carlisle. Um, Lake Norian 1-1 one, one away to Newport, so a great point for Lake Norian, newly promoted to lead 2. Um, Walsall, I'm just going to go to our form table because it is close. You've got Walsall at 16th and uh, Lake Norian is 17th. Walsall have won two out of the last five. Lake Norian have only won one out of the last five. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to predict for a bit of a shock, you may call it. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 Lake Norian win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat five if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.